Hey there, Easy Car Electrics family! Ever been stuck with a dead battery, tried to jump start it, and nothing happened? Today we're diving deep into why jump starts sometimes fail and exactly how to fix them. No more guessing games. Let's get your car running again. Before we jump in, pun intended, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date with all our car electrical tips and tricks. Now jump starting seems simple enough, but there are several reasons why it might not work. Let's get started. Safety first. Jump starting a vehicle involves high electrical currents, which can damage electronics. To ensure safety, park in a safe location, turn off electronics, remove keys from ignition, and engage parking brakes. Inspect the battery for damage or leaks, keeping open flames away from the area. Car batteries release flammable gases, so keep open flames away. Wear safety glasses and gloves during the process for personal safety. This will prevent unexpected movement and ensure a safe and efficient jump-starting process. Common Causes of Jump-Start Failure Let's break down the four main reasons your jump-start might not be working. Number 1. Weak Donor Battery The helping car needs a strong battery to successfully jump your vehicle. If the donor battery is old or weak, it simply won't provide enough power to get your car started. Here's a pro tip. While attempting the jump, Try revving the donor car's engine to about 2,000 RPM to generate more charging power. Number 2. Bad Cable Connections Poor electrical contact due to corroded terminals is a common culprit in failed jump starts. Loose connections significantly reduce power transfer between vehicles. To fix this, thoroughly clean the terminals using a wire brush and a baking soda solution. Number 3. Faulty Jumper Cables When it comes to jumper cables, quality really matters. Those thin, budget cables from the dollar store simply won't provide adequate power transfer. Regularly inspect your cables for any exposed wire or damaged clamps. Here's a pro tip. Invest in 4-gauge or thicker cables with solid copper clamps for the best results. Number 4. Deeper Electrical Issues Sometimes the problem goes beyond a simple dead battery. Your car might have a failed alternator, which prevents proper charging. A bad starter motor could also be the culprit. In some cases, the battery might be completely dead beyond the point of jumping. Or there could be damage to the fuses or electrical system. Proper jump starting technique. Here's the foolproof way to jump start your car. Number one, connection order. Start by attaching the red clamp to the positive terminal of the dead battery. Then connect the other end of the red cable to the positive terminal of the donor battery. Next, attach the black clamp to the negative terminal of the donor battery. Finally, connect the remaining black clamp to an unpainted metal surface in the dead car's engine bay. Number 2. Starting Procedure Begin by starting the donor vehicle and letting it run. Wait for about two minutes to allow some charge to transfer. Then attempt to start the dead car. If it doesn't start on the first try, wait an additional three minutes and try again. Throughout this process, keep the donor car running at approximately 2,000 RPM to maintain optimal charging. Number 3. Disconnection Order The order of disconnection is crucial for safety. First, remove the black clamp from the dead car. Then disconnect the black clamp from the donor car. Next, remove the red clamp from the donor car. Finally, disconnect the red clamp from the dead car. Troubleshooting Tips To troubleshoot a jump start failure, use a multimeter to test battery voltage. Pay attention to clicking sounds. Inspect battery terminals for corrosion or loose connections. Ensure transmission is set in park or neutral and gently rock cables to ensure good contact between clamps and terminals. Alternative Solutions If a jump start isn't the best solution, consider using a portable jump starter pack. If you're not comfortable performing the jump start yourself, call professional roadside assistance. If nothing works, consider having your vehicle towed to a mechanic to diagnose deeper electrical issues. There you have it, folks a complete guide to troubleshooting your jumpstart problems. Remember, if you need more confidence doing this yourself, there's no shame in calling a professional. Safety first. Drop a comment below with your jumpstart stories or questions. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe for more car electrical tips. Until next time, this is Easy Car Electrics, helping you understand what's under your hood.